It's Hanoon. Yep, that I can miss. And not by some one in a million set of circumstances. It misses pretty frequently. What? To be fair, the ability description says nothing about actually hitting enemies, but it's pretty clear that something is bugged. And after spending the last two weeks examining how Deadeye works, you have no idea how bugged it is. Seriously, grab a snack or something because we're getting into the weeds here. Overwatch heroes are more than just models and textures. Each one has unique weapons, particle effects, and sound effects. To help with the placement of these components, character models have invisible attachment points called hard points. Objects can be attached to these points and will follow any animation applied to the model. Hard points allow muzzle flashes and smoke to follow weapons. Spoken dialogue to emit from the character's mouth. And they say, and they say, chivalry is dead. And name tags to track the player's head. Deadeye makes use of certain hard points to function. Every hero has a hard point in their chest with ID 1, which is where the bullet shot by Deadeye travels to. Every hero also has a hard point in their head with ID 12, which is where the lock on indicator is displayed. To determine if Deadeye is locked on to a target, the game performs multiple line of sight checks originating from the shooter's camera. First, line of sight is checked against hard point 1. Second, line of sight is checked against an upper LOS point, typically located near the chest. And third, line of sight is checked against a lower LOS point, typically located near the knees. If any one of these LOS checks pass, you have line of sight to the target. You'll notice that the skull indicator has no influence on line of sight, nor where the bullet hits. If there's one thing you should absolutely know about Deadeye, it's that the skull in no way guarantees that you will actually hit your target. You'll also notice that the upper and lower line of sight tests are separate from the bullet path. This causes some issues in game. Since only one line of sight check needs to be met, you can miss a locked on target by only establishing lower LOS. Although I technically have line of sight to Reaper, the bullet goes to hard point one, which is in his chest. Most heroes' lower LOS points are 0.6 units above their ground position, so there is a very large range of heights in which you can reproduce this. You can get some pretty crazy lock-on angles because of this. It's also possible to miss Deadeye by only establishing upper LOS, but there is a much smaller range in which this occurs. This is because the upper LOS point and the hard point are typically very close to one another, but not always. From this position, I can reliably lock onto and hit Widowmaker with a Deadeye. If she's put to sleep by Anna's sleep dart, I can still lock onto her, but the bullet now misses. Although hard points follow character models during the sleep animation, line of sight points remain static. Even though the upper LOS check passes, the bullet target is way down here, obstructed by the ledge. Once Widow wakes up, the bullet target is back in view, so that I will hit again. If you think that's bad, put on your seatbelt. We're just getting started. There are some scenarios where you do have line of sight to a target, but you can't fire the shot. To understand why, we first need to examine character models, specifically their bind poses. A character's bind pose, or commonly referred to as a T pose by players, is the default pose used when sculpting the model. A bind pose can be very different from a hero's in-game idol animation. Junkrat, for example, is physically one of the tallest characters in Overwatch, but he has a severe slouch in-game. Because of this, the hard point used by Deadeye is much lower in-game than it appears in his bind pose. 
Here I've added a yellow beam to show where the hard point is in Junkrat's bind pose. When you first use Deadeye, the game evaluates the hard point's position as if the target is in their bind pose. Although I don't have upper or lower line of sight to Junkrat, I do have LOS to the hard point's default position. Once I fire Deadeye, the game re-evaluates the hard point to be in the correct position, as shown by the bullet path. Due to workshop limitations, I'm not able to show the hard point moving, but trust me, it's not up here anymore. If I continue to use Deadeye again in the exact same place, I can no longer lock onto Junkrat, since the hard point has moved down where it should be. So to summarize, this yellow beam only provides line of sight the first time you use Deadeye against a target. The inverse can happen as well. I can't lock onto Farah since I can't see her upper LOS point, lower LOS point, or the hard point. When she slept, however, her model extends just far enough around the corner for me to see the hard point. Despite this, I can't actually fire Deadeye. My client really, really wants to fire a bullet, but as far as the server is concerned, Farah's hard point has not moved. This results in the you didn't really shoot Deadeye mispredictions. Since the hard point only updates its position when Deadeye is shot, every Deadeye use will influence the next Deadeye. As an example, from this position I can hit Bastion with Deadeye every single time I use it. Then I deliberately move Bastion's hard point downward by shooting him while he is sleeping. After this, I can no longer lock onto him from this position no matter how many times I try. But if another player shoots him with Deadeye, his hardpoint moves back up where it's supposed to be, allowing me to lock on again. So far, all of these Deadeye misses have involved line of sight shenanigans. Surely with a completely unobstructed view of your target, Deadeye can't miss. If a hero undergoes a rapid pose change right before Deadeye is shot, the bullet can miss. This is actually what prompted this entire video in the first place. I've received dozens of clips and replays showing Deadeye just missing point blank. And it didn't take long to brute force reproduction steps. She dodged it! She dodged it! Did you guys see that? She dodged it again! She dodged it! Oh my god, we found it! The immediate assumption would be that the hard point moves outside of Mercy's hitbox during this animation. While it's an intuitive guess, there are characteristics of this bug that make me doubt it's an animation error. A Cassidy bot spawned on the server will never miss Deadeye due to a pose change. The bullet will always hit Mercy. Furthermore, players with higher latency have a much wider window of time for Deadeye to miss. At a ping of around 60 milliseconds, there's about a 60 millisecond window in which the bullet can miss. At a ping of around 250 milliseconds, there's about a 160 millisecond window. If this were just an issue with the Guardian Angel animation, you'd expect all three test cases to have the same window of time to miss. And no, these are not iframes. Mercy doesn't tank the hit with zero damage, the bullet literally just misses. If we put a shield behind Mercy, you can see that it takes damage from the bullet whizzing past her. Aside from Mercy, plenty of heroes can dodge Deadeye this way, including but not limited to Sojourn Sliding, Cassidy Rolling, Lucia Wall Riding, and being Earth Shattered. Just like the previous bug, missing Deadeye like this moves Mercy's hard point, which affects your next Deadeye. As an example, I can't establish LOS to Mercy behind this statue. But if I miss Deadeye while she uses Guardian Angel, I can establish LOS behind the statue, because her hard point now extends behind her. 
Though remember, the heart point corrects itself the moment I shoot. The fact that your network condition determines whether or not Deadeye hits is what makes this truly bizarre. And to be honest, I'm not certain what's going on. Speaking of network conditions, there is one more way to miss Deadeye that I'd like to cover. If you've been in the Overwatch scene for a while, you've probably heard the phrase, favor the shooter, quite a bit. This term describes one of the consequences of lag compensation. Other players can appear to shoot you around corners if you're still on their screen at the time the shot was fired. Deadeye doesn't really behave the same way. You can fire a shot while the other player is still on your screen, but the bullet travels to their new position behind the corner. This means there's a pretty good chance you can force Deadeye to miss by jiggle peeking Cassidy. So never use Deadeye if you have high ping. Or ever. Just use it to reload. Special thanks to everyone who helped with this video by sending me replays of Deadeye misses, and to everyone in my Twitch chat that stuck around for the ride. If you don't know, I stream behind the scenes stuff like workshop programming, green screen choreography, and just testing random things people ask about. Resbob. Wow, I fell for it. Any more ideas, chat? Torb saving his turret. I thought he said res the turret. I'm like, I'm not gonna fall for that one immediately. Still not gonna live that one down.